How's your group coming together? Pretty good. Uh, I think we've got a good mixture of uh, older guys and younger guys, and I think those guys are actually trying to uh, to get some camaraderie together. Been really good uh, first couple of days. Uh, been pleased with the, the movement and the things that they've done. Uh, we'll continue to uh, work those guys and, and get quality reps from them. And hopefully start to find out where our depth chart stands. How do you like your depth, especially on the inside? I really like our depth inside. I think we've got enough big bodies in there that can give us some quality uh, minutes. Uh, you know, those guys have been here a while. Uh, we don't have any young guys in that group, so all those guys are veterans, and uh, they, they've performed like that over this, this period of the camp. Uh, Terry Beckner, obviously very talented. What's the next level that you would like to see him go to as a senior? Uh, basically for Terry right now, I just want to see him continue to grow as a man and continue to go and play as fast as he can and to come back here and to be a technician in the things that he's trying to get done up front. Technique fundamentals, I want him to be a technician in, in how he does things. Um, Jordan Elliott, how much is he just dying to get to face a different team right now? Well, I'm sure he's, it's all over him right now. He's been out for a year and now He's getting an opportunity to come back and play. Uh, he's really been been well for us, done a great job. I'm excited about him and, and, and the future for him in this program. What is Walter Palmore's skill set that he brings that really helps? Well, the big thing about Walter is he's a big guy, but uh, he also has some quicks. He's got some initial quickness that gives us an opportunity to do some things with him, also with movement and stuff, so we don't have to leave him stagnant in there and just two gap and play, you know, play two gaps at a time. On the ends, what excites you about your talent that you have on the ends? Well, I think uh, Chris Turner has done a great job in the summer. Uh, you can tell he's in great shape, came in here, busting his tail, doing a great job. you got Trey on the other side, who's, who's as talented as Chris. Uh, he's really been good for us. And then you got Nate, who's done a good job this summer and has done a great job this fall camp. I think he's worked. I think he's tried to understand football more. I think it's been important to him that he gets in here and he studies the game. And uh, he's worked his butt off as far as fundamentals. A couple other guys that are in the two deep as we speak right now, Rashad Brandon, Akil Byers. What have you seen from them so far? Uh, Rashad's a you know big, strong, physical guy. Uh, does a good job. Still got to work some technique and fundamentals with him to get him where he needs to be. But for the most part, he's really done a great job for us. Akil has done a great job, been a good player for us, played as a true freshman. I think he's got to continue to grow as a football player. He's got to get schematically, he's got to understand the defense. You know, those things for him are what's going to be his biggest growth. Now that you've had a full year of imprinting your style on this group, what is the personality of the defensive line? To be aggressive, to be aggressive, to be physical, to play fast, and to finish.